Hey, what is up, guys? This is DJ Overspin, and today what I'm gonna uh, what I'm gonna be showing you is a how-to video on combining hard drives and getting your three uh, full three terabytes from your three terabyte hard drive. Um, so right now I'm gonna show you that I have um, about uh, one point seven about one point seven terabytes transferring to my other hard drive. I'm gonna go ahead and show you the hard drives. So. There you go. You can see right here that it, uh, try again, try again. I guess skip. <laughs> I guess I won't be keeping that file. But um, I'm tra I transferred everything from this three terabyte hard drive, which says there's only two terabytes, over to this 1.72 drive over here. Now this is actually what I'm going to be showing you is. Uh, how to combine this hard drive with this hard drive right here, which there are actually three hard drives hooked up to this. Now that you have uh, files on here, you know you see that it doesn't show that it's two hard drive uh, or three hard drives put together. Yes, there is three hard drives put together on this one, and there's my uh, you know my other drive. So I'm gonna go ahead and go to disk management, and this is my gaming setup by the way. If you haven't even uh, uh, seen from it but um you can see right here here's uh the three terabyte here's drive one and you know my main operating system hard drive right here and you can see anything that's lighted purple are what is you know put together and you can see right here here's my three terabyte and it says 746.52 gigs uh unallocated so what i'm going to be doing is taking out this volume yes I'll be getting rid of everything on here but everything on these three drives are actually saved and will not be deleted when you combine these or this this stuff right here so what you're gonna do is uh, delete the volume let's see the partition uh, I mean, yes I wanna delete okay now you can see that it shows that even though you try um, I guess that's that's all you can do um, go ahead and right click over here convert to GPT alright now that I have my two and uh, my three terabytes right here instead of sitting there making a simple volume or any kind of other volume you go over here to one of these drives it really doesn't really matter uh, right click over here and extend the volume click and click next and here you go you see your three terabyte hard drive right there it's very simple to combine with uh, and click next or add actually and then click next and then finish now it'll say that you know it'll convert it to a dynamic drive and whatnot uh, I won't be able to install any operating system because they're all combined because it's all configured with the operating system so you click yes and there you go now it's com uh, combined with all three of these drives over here so now that I have that combined I go over here refresh now it says that I have 4.45 terabytes of space uh, of space on this hard drive so I could do anything I want with this and um, you know that's actually pretty much it so I got all my stuff here all my information is saved um, the only thing is that uh, whenever you're transferring files over it uses one drive at a time so to use disk zero first and by the time it's full it goes on to the first one that you com uh, combined it with or combined the two hard drives together and uh, that one turned full so it went on to the next one and now when this gets full which is about 19 gigs left it'll jump to the three terabyte hard drive and I have a lot of space on that all this space is very interesting uh, to, ha uh, to actually have um, another thing that would be great is actually combining all three of these drives to actually speed up the transfer uh, the trans uh, transferring operation you know to make it faster which um, you can do that you can um, sit there instead of um, 
instead of uh, using a simple, uh, you can use, uh, I can't remember what it's called, but you can uh, format it to, some, uh, to all, drive, uh, all the drives together, but the problem is if you convert to a different one that tries speeding up the speed of all the files in there to make it go faster, uh, it'll only max out at one terabyte, so it's best to make a new, uh, new volume and uh, that's basically it. Um, I'll, I have what I want to do in the future is actually get four two terabyte hard drives or four three terabyte. It depends on what I want to get. And what I can do is, um, you know, I want to make a RAID 5 volume. And in order for you to make a RAID 5 volume and combine it all with all four hard drives is you have to get this right here. And this is a RAID card four port it's uh priced at forty dollars it ain't that bad um all you have to do is just hook up four hard drives straight uh, straight to the sata ports on this card which is a regular pci card and um basically all you have to do is sit there on disk management is right click make a new volume in raid 5 volume and combine all these hard drives together so that you actually max out your speed and you don't have a cap limit on how much space you have or, or you're not limited to how many space you have or how much space you have so that's basically all you have to do um, if you find this very interesting please leave a like and comment down below um, if you want to know more on how to work operating systems uh, just let me know or let me know so I can actually make a tutorial and also one more note before I actually end this video is all the rumors for Windows 10 are all fake I mean, there's only one rumor that um, I can't I can't remember. What, um, I think it was the update ones. Um, it sometimes happens, uh, you know, the random restarts, you know, during what you're doing uh, are not actually true. But it is true on mandatory updates. It will make you restart. But most of the updates will actually wait for you to restart your computer or shut it down one way or the other. Uh, but it does not restart automatically. I know I had the preview version and it restarted on me during the updates is because you know doing mandatory updates and fixing problems and still testing it out but yeah I got Windows 10 the full version uh, not evaluation as you can tell if I go to system see Windows 10 Pro pretty much full 3.1 quad core i5 processor with 8 gigs of RAM what not so yeah, don't believe any rumors. Don't believe it unless you tried it. So that's all I have to say for this operating system. If you want to know anything more about this uh, computer or how to do something on a Windows 10 computer, uh, ask a question in the comment. Uh, subscribe if you want to see more video game videos. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm trying to edit some more. Um, and that's basically all I have. So thank you for viewing and have a nice day.